Olympic semi-final in Tokyo. So she was one of Kurochitina's victims on the way to a silver medal. Nikolova from Bulgaria. Evelina Nikolova, now 31 years old. And her opponent, Kurochitina, 29. Well, the silver and the bronze medalists of the Tokyo Olympics knowing each other from several matches over and over again now battling for the crown of Europe Irina Kurachtina individual neutral athlete in the red twice a world bronze medalist but back in 2017 and 19 and twice a European gold medalist in 18 and 21. She's also won European silver and bronzes to go with that gold, or those gold. Again, one, one really fast athlete. Um, fast legs and really powerful attacks uh, to the double leg using long arms and, and is able to score from, from the half distance and distance position. Nikolova is someone with a really great feeling for wrestling and for the situation and the position. So mm, always dangerous. If she, if you get her one finger, she will take the whole arm and trying to pin you. Nikolova circling away. So the referee imposes the activity period on Nikolova. Thirty second shot clock ticking down to the fifteen second mark. Nikolova trying to get underneath to get rid of that wrist tie. And one point scores for Kurachchina. Good attempt to snap down, but Nikolova is back on the feet very fast. Kurachchina again exerting pressure on the back of the neck, pull, pulling down. She don't let you any space to breathe, always working with her arms and faking and uh, trying to reach the legs. Pressure on the neck and I think really difficult to handle. There it is again from uh, Kurachkina, collar tie. Nikolova untroubled for the most part, just conceding that one point for the activity period. So not much between these two as they battled for the gold and silver medal. Kurachkina leads by just one point to nil over Nikolova of Bulgaria. It's just so exhausting if I, I see these faces in this 30 seconds break. It's really, I, I know so many emotions and feelings uh, are going through your mind and you have only these three minutes to, to leave it all on the mat. And, and I'm thinking you just have 30 seconds to get some life back in your arms. Yeah, and sometimes after these 30 seconds, you feel even better than before because you feel the pain. <laughs> <laughs> So we begin more vigorously here at the start of the second period. They both know that uh, there is glory three minutes away. But between them and that glory stands their opponent. And you see that both of them want to decide it on their own, not waiting only for the referee to call someone more active. And
A big stretch there from Kurachkina to stay balanced on the legs. There's total force here now between these two and getting into a headlock position now, circling around, trying to go behind. Kurachkina scores two points, takes control. Yeah, good job, snapping down really fast on the knees, clearing her left arm. Nikolova pulls it in really tight, but uh, she's able to secure these two points. And again, she's doing it again, snapping down. Now she, she got the confidence and know how to do it. Two more points, takes the lead to 5-0. A great start of the second period for Kurachkina. Kurachkina could be heading for a third European gold medal. And she attacks once more. Takes her down for two. So a big lead now, seven points to nil, with just under 90 seconds to go. This is what we see many times in wrestling. It's not that it's easier right now to score, but of course one of the opponents have to, to open up to, to get the risk, and so the other one is always a little bit in advantage to, to use a little mistake. And that's why I say everything changes in the second period because you have the pressure to hurry up. Now Nikolova is forcing the issue here, and Kurachkina steps out. One point scores, but she still needs another six. One minute to go. It's not only one point, it's also a caution to Kurachkina to not uh, fleeing the mat. So five points the difference. And Nikolova looks strong here right now. Yeah, this is uh, what I said. She, she's so dangerous here. If you're giving up any... Any possibility she will take it. Kurachkina goes back to the number one tactic, pressure down on the back of the neck. But the referee tells her she needs more than that. Nikolova trying something different for the moment. Stands up tall. Yeah, tries she, for the body wrap. She's trying to, to lift her up. To, to get some space for a big throw. You need someone with the head up to, to, to throw her. Kurachkina very much in defensive mode now with seven seconds to go. Defending a lead. One hand on the gold medal and Nikolova concedes. And Irina Kurachkina, the neutral athlete, takes the gold medal from a fast-finishing Evelina Nikolova of Bulgaria.